Hello students, today we will talk about uh, sphere. We will learn how to draw isometric view of sphere and isometric projection of sphere. So in order to understand these two views, let us assume one question that sphere of dia 50 mm is resting centrally on top of a rectangular block. So it means first step is that we should draw the isometric of a rectangular block. So I have made the isometric of the rectangular block and its center is also located. So on the top of this particular block, I will draw isometric view of sphere. So in case of isometric view of sphere, two calculations are required. So I have to rest this sphere centrally on top of this block. So what will be the first step? From the center of this block, I will draw a vertical line and I will call that line as OA. And if I am drawing isometric view of sphere, then the length of OA will be equal to given radius of the sphere. The diameter of the sphere is given as 50 millimeters. So its radius will be 25 millimeters. It means first step of drawing isometric view of sphere is that from center, I should draw a vertical line which will be named as OA equal to 25 millimeters that is the given radius of the sphere so from this particular point let me name this point that, that is the resting point of sphere let us call this as O from this point what we will do we will draw a thin line very thin line continuous thin line of 25 millimeters which is equal to the given radius so I will call this point as A so what is the next step in drawing the isometric view of sphere now take A as a center, you have to draw one circle. What will be the radius of that circle? Radius of circle with A as center. This will be equal to given radius. What is the given radius? 25 mm multiplied by 1.22. This is the factor. So after multiplying 25 with 1.22, we will get a value 30.5 millimeters. It means if I have to draw the circle now, I have to open the compass to 30.5 millimeters. So take A as center and draw a circle. Let us make the circle thick. So we will call this particular view as isometric view of sphere. So what we have learned that from center draw a vertical line call that line as OA, what will be the height of that line or length of that line that will be equal to the given radius. Radius of the diameter of the sphere was given 50 so radius will become 25. Then with A as center you have to draw a circle whose radius will be equal to given radius into 1.22 so that will be 30.5 because given radius was 25 and multiplied by 1.22 we will get a value of 30.5. So with this uh, uh, procedure, you can draw isometric view of sphere. But if you want to draw isometric projection of sphere, what will be the change? Change will be that, uh, let me call this as center O. From that center, when you will draw a vertical line to draw isometric projection of sphere, then that OA length will be equal to given radius in multiplied by 0.82. That is the factor. So what was the diameter? 20, uh, 50 millimeters. So given radius will be 25. So multiply it with 0.82. So you will get a value 20.5. So this value you will use to draw a vertical line over here. So that will be equal to 20.5. So thin vertical line of 25.5. Now call that point as A. Now what next we, we will do? With this A center you have to draw a circle. Now the, this uh, in this case the radius of that circle with A as center will be equal to given radius. So diameter was 50, so given radius will be 25. So we will open compass to 25 mm. And with A as center, we will draw our circle. So this is uh, the isometric projection of sphere. Now later on what you will do, you will make the lower portion of uh, the solid thick, the edges which are visible of the bottom solid, make those edges thick. 
Now again let us compare these two. So whenever you have to draw isometric view of the sphere, draw OA vertical line that will be equal to the given radius and with the AS center draw a circle whose radius will be equal to given radius multiplied by 1.22 but if you have to draw isometric projection of sphere then first of all draw a vertical line OA whose length will be equal to given radius into 0.82 with AS center draw a circle whose radius will be equal to given radius so this concept you should keep in your mind whenever you have to draw isometric view of sphere or isometric projection of sphere. I hope uh, this uh, procedure is clear to you. Thank you very much.